Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Vizani 1080p portable projector. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this projector has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. So let's get it open. So here we have the projector. We have cleaning supplies, a manual, and this talks about cleaning it. We have accessories. So this is the remote, we have a power cable, has a standard connector on it, has an AV in cable for legacy equipment like video game consoles, VCRs, DVD players and such, and an HDMI cable. So the remote takes AAA batteries. I'll put those in. Let's take a quick look at the manual. So I'm not going to cover everything in here. So it has some notes here. It says, this works best in a dark environment. It does not support Dolby Audio. Bluetooth is for connecting to an external speaker. And this is an important note. It says due to HDCP, which is copy protection, some video streaming software, Netflix, Amazon, Prime, Disney, Hulu, do not support screen mirroring. So that's a common thing with projectors. You can stream to this from iOS or Android, but you can't stream commercial streaming services. So the solution is to use a Fire TV stick, Roku stick, or a Chromecast, or other device, a game console would work too. The nice thing about that is once you plug in something like a Fire TV stick, you have all the features on the Fire TV stick available to the projector just like you would with a TV. So here's an overview. So we have controls on the top. We have manual focus and keystone. On the back, we have the ports. It has USB, HDMI, AV, and audio out. We have power on the side. We have the remote control. So this talks about how to use it. This talks about setting focus and keystone. This talks about the interface. So this supports media on USB drives. So you can have photos or video. You can connect a computer. As I mentioned earlier, you could connect something like a DVD player or video game system, Bluetooth speaker, it's Wi-Fi connection, and then you can mirror with iOS and Android. You can also send windows to it, and then you can mount this on a ceiling or have it sitting on a table or surface, and then you'll be able to flip the image. So you could have the projector in front or behind the screen, and you can have it down low or up high. And here are the specs for the projector. You can pause and read through those, and we have troubleshooting. So let's look at the projector. So it looks like we have a lens cover here. Kind of a rubberized plastic. There's the lens. We have focus and keystone adjustment. On the side, we have a vent. Looks like we have speakers on the back, or that might be some kind of a filter. It looks like it comes off of there. We have reports, power. And if we go to the bottom, we have rubber feet. We have a leveler foot. And we have a quarter 20 tripod thread. So to hook this up, I'll plug in power. And I'll get this aimed at the screen and I'll turn it on. So I'll get this all set up and then we'll test it out. Okay, I have the projector pointed at the screen. I'll turn it on and I'll likely have to do some adjustment. Yes, definitely. Okay, I think that's good right about there. So we have an interface with settings, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, screen mirroring, help AV and HDMI. So I'll get Wi-Fi set up. So I'm going to do this off camera and I'll come back when it's set up. Okay, so I'm connected up to Wi-Fi. So now I can go into screen mirroring and I'll go to iOS screen. I'm going to go into my iPad and connect up to the Vizani projector. So here I have screen mirroring. So I went into control center to do that. So now I'll go to YouTube and here I have a YouTube video. I'll hit play on this. And here we can see it. I'll pause it. So while this doesn't work with many commercial streaming services, it does work with YouTube. We can also do things like view a presentation. So here I have a presentation. I can hit play on it. And I have the slides on my iPad and I can tap on them and I can see the next slide on my iPad. So if you're giving a presentation, you can use the iPad as your reference while your audience can see the screen. Then I can go to Control Center and disconnect. I'll hit back on the remote and I can go back to the main screen. So I've inserted a USB drive. So I'll go to USB, I'll go to Movie. I'll choose a movie here and here we can play it. So I can go to the bottom here. I can fast forward a little bit.
I can go to photo and we can view photos. We also have music. And we have text. So you could use this to watch a movie stored on a USB drive or do a photo slideshow. Maybe at a graduation party or a wedding, you could designate a corner and have this pointing at a screen and display digital photos. This also works with HDMI. Let me plug in a Fire TV stick. And I'll go to HDMI. So here we have all of the streaming services that you can access with the Fire TV stick on the projector. So if you want to send the output to a Bluetooth speaker, you can do that here. When you're done using it, you can press the power button, press it again, and it will power off. Okay, so I'm at a little bit different angle here. I realized I forgot to cover the settings. So if we go to settings here, so along the top here we have picture, sound, sleep timer, and system settings. So under the picture settings, if you go to rotate front projection, we have front table, and other options are rear table, front ceiling, or rear ceiling. So if you want to flip this around, you can use this setting. And then on sound mode, we have movie, music, sports, and user defined. Of course, we have a standard sleep timer. And on the system settings, we have things like Bluetooth and factory reset. So that was the Visani portable projector. I found this projector very easy to use. You just plug it in, turn it on, and you can configure everything from the interface has lots of ways to get video into it with USB, HDMI, and wireless. I think one of the best ways to use one of these is to plug something like a Fire TV stick into it so you can stream movies to it. So this would be great for family movie night. You could do outdoor movie night. This is portable so you could easily take it with you. Now this has that leveling foot on it, but my favorite way to use one of these is to connect a tripod up so I can adjust it to the level. So you can adjust the lens to the center of your projection screen and that gives you a really good image and it gives a nice stable way to hold the projector. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.